Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial from LearnEnroute.com. And in this series of videos, we're talking about the pre-release version of Enroute fabrication and some of the tools and features that are going to be added into the general Enroute line here in the next few releases. And this one, I want to start talking about a new feature in the nesting called Abuse Obstructions. And and this is a great feature that uh, we haven't had in the past. And Basically, what this is allowing us to do is is tell Enroute that there are areas on my plate that I don't want to nest uh, across or onto, and this is particularly handy if you have a fixture or clamps or some other reason why you do not want material to be uh, cut over certain areas of the sheet. So let me show you how this is used. It's a, it's a pretty neat tool, and there's a couple different ways of setting this up too. So I'm just going to grab this circle, and we're going to use that sort of as our representation of the areas that we don't want to nest onto. And I'm just going to hold my control key here down and make a few copies along the edge. And it doesn't, you know, it it uh, it it doesn't have to really be placed any place special. Now remember, in the earlier videos, I talked about. Uh, when you're using the new nester you want to make sure that everything is drawn off of the plate and then you nest to the plate and and this is why because if you've got objects that are uh, touching the plate or inside the plate they're going to be handled as obstructions if you've got that uh, checkbox switched on and you can even do this uh, uh, for for holes if you want to defect if you've got an object in the middle whatever you can actually tell and route not to nest on interior it's not just for the edges so uh, I've got my object set up now, and, and as with, with all the usage of the new uh, nesting tool, you want to make sure that you have uh, not only your objects that you want to nest selected, but also the objects that you want to use as obstructions. And uh, when we turn into the nesting tool, you'll notice that the obstructions are showing as red, and, and it'll work, it'll function if I have this use obstruction switched on. And then my objects are set up normally with the uh, pink-purple preview line. And let's just go ahead here and say I want three copies of the whole object. Uh, everything else looks good. I uh, don't really care what corner it packs into. And we'll click Apply and see how it works. And you can see here that it, it definitely nested all around my different obstructions and did it very quickly and easily. Now I said there's a couple different ways we can do this and um, let's just grab my three objects here and hit copy. Let's go and uh, we'll create a new layer and that's called layer 9 and cycle it up to get layer 9 on the screen. Right click, whoop, paste active layer, got them on there. Okay, good. I uh, thought I might have hit paste instead of paste active layer there. Okay, so the second feature is, now this is particularly handy if you are using the same fixture over and over again for different nests. And uh, it's, it's a little bit different to set up because y you don't you use the plate here, but I'm just going to come in with my rectangle tool and draw a square or a rectangle that matches my plate. And, and I'll just see, you know, I'll just do this freehand here. Can't talk and click at the same time. So now I'm going to grab that and again using my control key do something a little bit more conventional here Oop. pick it okay so let's just say this is my fixture that I want to use uh, for repeated objects and instead of having to set this up every time I can now create some an object that I can then turn into a plate every time so I've got this set up and you can draw your your fixture plate out it'll you can basically use the the uh, uh, plate tool to to convert any single closed geometry into a plate. So I'm going to use the jigsaw tool here, and um, so I'm going to use my weld tool, fly it out, and use weld subtract to get the object that I need. And then I'm just going to um, probably the safe thing to do. I'm just thinking about this is to name this and save this off on its uh, 
on its own separate thing. So let's do that. Let's create one more layer here and uh, let's say new. I need to start a new drawing here and we'll say fixture. Click OK. Grab this. Copy it. Cycle over. Paste active layer. OK. So that's good. And we'll get back to our original layer 9 and move this back in over the edge of the plate. I've got it selected and now I just uh, click on my create plate tool and now I've created a permanent fixture I can take this go into uh, go into my fixture and just select it and turn it into a plate on as many layers as I need to so if I go back to layer 9 I can come in here grab it go to my layer tool let's make uh, five copies of each click apply and you can see again that it has kept the uh, nested objects away from the obstruction so two different ways of using a combination of the remnant tool or the uh, I'm sorry uh, the obstruction tool of of drawing it freehand or placing things temporarily and then actually creating a geometry that you want to use converting it into a plate and using that but again use obstructions is going to be another great tool for us to use in the future as we're working with en route as usual i hope this helps